Hello everybody, this is the Bulldozer, and thank you for giving me your time, thank you for watching another one of my videos. I really do appreciate you giving me your time. Got a different kind of video for you today, folks, and I'm just living, I, this is like my 7th or 8th time, because at one time I looked down and my video was like 20 some odd minutes long. So I'm going to try to make this as short as possible, but a lot, I think a lot of points need to be made. Now this is my opinion, my opinion only. I think the NFL doesn't give a damn about their players. They do not give a damn about their players. We got another spotter issue and another nighttime primetime game, which is the only game that is even on. Everybody's watching it. If you're an NFL fan, you got access um, to the game. Everybody's watching it. It's eyes on this game. Okay? And if you remember a few weeks ago, we had the same situation with the Monday night football game, or excuse me, Thursday night football game. And Cincinnati with Cincinnati Bengals versus Miami Dolphins. And the Miami Dolphins quarterback should never have been allowed to play the game. Well, the doctor ended up getting being fired over that situation. They gave him the okay to play. He, and, and my understanding is the doctors are also one of the spotters. I could be wrong, but that's my understanding. The doctors are also one of the spotters. They're on the sidelines. And uh, so if they see something, they're supposed to alert whoever it is they're supposed to alert. Well, you got spotters on the sidelines. You got spotters in the booths. And they got, you know, the, the goggles, you know, or the binoculars up to their foreheads. Like if they was playing Call of Duty in Warzone or Night Vision of Call of Duty or something like that. Or, you know, fighting in, in the military. But, um, and you're going to see they so blow this call. They so blow this call. And Devontae Parker is so livid. I'll show you a post that he made on Instagram here in a minute. But... You're going to see his teammate is trying to get the ref's attention, saying, hey, stop, stop, stop. He's hurt, he's hurt, he's hurt. He's pointing over at him. He's waving his hands and everything. And it does nothing. The only reason why that ball did not get snapped is because Arizona threw out the red flag and challenged Devontae Parker's catch, being a, a good catch, when he went to the ground and got injured. Okay? And you're going to see, you'll, you'll hear it. You know, from the white hat referee, that is, you know, Arizona's challenging the play. Here is Dante Parker's post on Instagram. He says, "Get y'all's effing job, NFL. Get on your uh, your all's effing job, NFL. Thankful my brother was aware of the situation." And you can see uh, Nelson Aguilar number fifteen right there. Now, this is the thing. He was trying to get to her attention, but they was paying no attention to him at all. None. Again, you're going to see that he's waving his hands and everything, and even the quarterback for the Patriots goes up to the white hat after they blow the whistle because of the red flag, and he's pointing over to Deont De uh, Devontae Parker. He sees the issue with him. Now, pay attention. When I run the video, pay attention to Devontae Parker. He's going to be his all the way down the bottom of your screen. Okay? You're going to see he's stumbling as he's getting ready for the next play for the ball to be snapped. And the spotters are not picking that up. Their eyes should be focused on him. They should be trained on him after what just took place. Now, I don't know what the protocols are, but if the damn announcers can see there's a problem and they're saying they should be looking at him, Apparently, they wasn't. Me, personally, I think the announcers should have a button in their, uh, in their booth so they can alert somebody on the field. If nothing else, they can alert somebody on the field, and that person can put eyes on the person that they're talking about. That is another, that is another protocol that would have stopped this situation. But no, they're going to snap the damn ball. Now, people are saying the refs... Uh, should have stopped it. The refs can't stop it. Okay, and I understand that because just think. If the refs stop it and they think somebody's got a concussion, that person's got to come out of the game. Can you imagine that if you get a referee that is trying to favor one side or the other, they can stop the game and pull anybody out of that game they want to. They say, to me, he looks like he's got a concussion. He needs to be checked. And that player is no longer in the game. It could be a, it could be any, it could be a quarterback. So it could be the quarterback, and they could pull the quarterback out of the game, 
and they had to bring in their backup. Can you imagine how that would affect the game? So I understand why the referees can't say nothing. That's the reason why you got the spotters. You got the doctors on the field. You got the spotters on the field. It should never get to the point where people are thinking the referees should make this call. Let's take a look at this video. We're going to go right from the snap. And you're going to see he doesn't hit head first. But he goes down on his side, but he hits the side of his head. And watch how he's getting up. He's wobbling, getting up. His teammate number 69 has got to help him up. At this point in the video here, and again, I will play this for you um, with the audio, bits and pieces of the audio. And you can see how it, it just like his hands just tighten up as soon as he rolls over when he hits the ground. Now look at his teammate. Eggler, look at he's waving his hands and everything. Now watch the quarterback. The quarterback goes up to the white hat, and he's waving over, or he's pointing over at Devontae also. Again, the only thing that saved him was the fact that the Arizona threw the red flag and challenged the call. Now the referee is walking with him. What is the deal with the spotters in this game? Now, I, I made the comment earlier, so I think I made the comment earlier, maybe they, just, they need to stop with the nighttime games. Is that drastic? Yeah, it's very, extremely drastic. But our last major issue was on a Thursday night game. Now, this is a Monday night game, and we had the same issue again. So, are these spotters drinking? Are they eating? Are they having a party? Are they, are they doing anything other than what they're supposed to be doing? And the thing is, it's not one spotter. There's, I've heard there are multiple spotters on the field, or you know, in the watching the game. On the field and in the booth. Now, you saw my thumbnail. That's apparently a thumbnail of a spotter watching the game. I don't know if it is or not. That's just a, thumb, a thumbnail, a, 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 a transparent clip that I found online. But it just it makes no sense. And I haven't heard anything out of the NFL commissioner. Not a thing. So they're going to have to go through this whole thing again. Now this video is running in slow motion, just so you know. Um... Are they going to have to go through this whole thing again now to where they have to do the investigation and everything? Because remember, the players' union, um, I forget what the what they're actually called, but um, those the doctor actually ended up getting fired over the Miami-Cincinnati game. The doctor that gave him the okay to, get, to play. He ended up getting fired because he should never have been allowed to play that game versus Cincinnati. Because he clearly showed signs of a concussion. He got up, he fell back to the ground, and they tried to blame it on an ankle or something, I, I think. Yeah, apparently it wasn't an ankle. Now, just think, folks, just think, folks. If they would have snapped this ball over here, again, watch Aguilar. Look at him. He's waving, he's pointing over at Devontae. Look at him. He's shaking his hand, pointing at him. He's trying to get the attention. Look what it says, first and 10, 20, 19, 18. The ref right there, he's pointing at that referee, trying to get that referee's attention. Now look, he's waving his hands. He's looking back at the white hat and the other referee in the black hat. And again, the only reason why the ball did not get snapped was because Arizona threw the red flag. The only reason. And look, right away, Agnelor walks right over to Vante and helps him off the field. This is crazy. Absolutely crazy. I just, I don't understand it. I do not understand it. You know, everything these players go through, and I tell you what, I'm going to put a video in the link down, down below. I promise you, you watch this video from the Cincinnati Bengals, you will never, ever look at another football game the same. I promise you that. Because um, when they was bringing out their white uniforms, all white, the white helmet and everything, Everything they went through before a game, but not just that that one particular game. Every game, you're going to see, and I'm sure other teams are the same way, but you're going to see everything that takes place. It's crazy behind the scenes what your average fan does not know. It's crazy what takes place to put this game on. Again, make sure you watch that video. It's going to be a Cincinnati Bengals uh, YouTube link right from their YouTube channel. Again, make sure you watch that. You can see right here how he, how he hits the ground and then he slides. And then he rolls over and loses the ball. 
And it look, looked to me, you see his, his hand right there, his hand looked limp to me. See, so I don't know if you'll be able to see it on this, on this play or not, or this angle right here. See, so he catches the ball and tucks it in. And it is ruled a good catch, by the way. I don't know if I'm going to play that audio or not. Because he, cause he's taking steps after he, after he caught the ball. You see, as he turns right here, watch the side of his head. Pow! You can literally see it bounce off the ground. That is scary, folks. That is scary. And see him like that. Can you imagine what this player's family is thinking when they see that? Now watch his one hand. His hand looks limp to me. They're on the left-hand side of your screen. Look how it's just hanging down there like it's limp. So let's go ahead and listen to what the announcers um, had to say. Ball comes out, but they're saying it's a catch for the moment. Oh, he's a little banged up. They're going to be watching him. Somebody upstairs should be. He looked a little wobbly coming up after he comes up off the ground. They're already without their number one wide receiver, Jacoby Myers. Requirements a catch. So I do have it as a catch, not an incomplete pass. And I think, Troy, you hit on another important part of that, that Devontae Parker does not look right getting up at the end of that Arizona's play. challenging the ruling on the field of a completed pass. The player's under review. Timeout. See, that audio clip right there proves exactly what I'm saying. That it wasn't his teammate that got the game, got the play stopped. It was because Arizona threw the challenge flag, the red flag. So they was going to let that ball snap. And what if he took another hit? And you've seen, you've seen how wobble he was when he got up. Let's hear another clip from the announcers of the game. They will check on him, no doubt. Challenged by Arizona. Yeah, this is crazy, folks. This is absolutely crazy. This video is already long enough. But, um, but NFL, please do your damn job and protect these people. You know, they're putting a lot of money in your pocket. The owners, they're putting these players are putting a lot of money in your pocket. Yeah, you might be paying some of that money out. So what? You're making a lot more than you're, than you're paying out. Especially in a situation like the Cincinnati Bengals because they went to the Super Bowl last year. <laughs> Look up how much a home game is this year. Crazy. Thank you for watching. Thank you for giving me time. I really do appreciate it. And one thing, to end this video, who day, baby? This is the Bulldozer. I'm out of here. Hope you enjoyed the video you just watched. Here's some more videos you might be interested in. On the left-hand side, my Fortnite playlist. On the right-hand side, the previous video I uploaded. Who knows what this could be? It could be a dash cam footage. It could be something about on YouTube. It could be a number of things. Thank you for watching. Thank you for giving me your time. This is the Bulldozer. Get your killing on. And I'm out of here.